Wuthering Graves is an incredible action RPG with a great open world, densely packed with many things to do everywhere you go, and I am having a blast playing the game so far. At least, that's what I would like to say. But, despite the game getting more updates than days that it has been released so far, the problems are actually getting worse, and half the time the game is just borderline unplayable. Somehow to this day, I am still encountering new errors preventing me from even logging into the game. And even when I can log into the game, it's just not a good gaming experience. The game constantly, and I mean constantly, drops down to like 2 FPS, basically freezing the game for a second or so. When that happens, both the gameplay and the music just freeze up. This is a terrible gaming experience. And this freezing has legitimately gotten worse after the most recent update, and not better. And it's just n not just me who experienced these problems and noticed them getting worse either. I know some people are saying that the game just requires higher end specs than a game like Genshin, but I don't believe that my specs are bad. I can play a great game like Elden Ring on high graphics settings without any issues. If the specs are the problem for Wuthering Graves, I think it's a little ridiculous if you need a thousand dollar graphics card to have an acceptable gaming experience with this game. But I put the game's graphics on the very low setting and it did not improve the problems that I'm having at all, so I don't think that's even the issue. But if it is, the game requiring crazy high end specs to just have an acceptable gaming exp experience is going to drastically reduce the amount of people that are actually going to be able to commit to the game, and that is not a good thing whatsoever. The game struggling just to launch and feeling like crap when it does aren't the only problems either. I'm still encountering issues that just don't make any sense at all, like the Thunder Memphis boss de-aggroing and full healing. I've had people tell me that this isn't a bug and I'm just moving too far away from the boss's spawn point, but the boss literally moves that distance naturally on its own. Designing a highly mobile boss like that and not giving it an aggro radius larger than the distance that it naturally moves is horrible gaming design, and that just makes the problem way worse if that isn't a bug. As I said before, I really want to enjoy playing this game, as it would be 100% beneficial for me to enjoy this game and make content on it, but I can't do that with all the problems the game has. It's great that the developers are listening to the complaints, giving rewards for our troubles, and constantly updating the game, but the fact of the matter is, despite everything, the problems are still getting worse and not better for many players, that leaves me concerned that the developers don't actually know how to fix them. It just blows my mind that the game has made it to its official launch with this many issues that should have been caught in one of the multiple beta tests it had. That's what beta tests are for, finding and resolving issues like this. It literally feels like I'm playing a beta test right now and not an official launch. I keep seeing people say we are being too harsh as if it's the norm for games to release with these type of issues, and that is complete and utter nonsense. It is not the norm for games to be released being borderline unplayable, and even if that was the norm, that doesn't suddenly make it good or acceptable, and we should be calling it out regardless. This is not Doom posting. It is completely and utterly unacceptable for a game that had multiple beta tests to release like this. If the game is not ready for release, push back the start date. Rushing a game is never good, as initial impressions are extremely important. The experience many players are having with the game is an experience nobody should have with any game's official launch. It's not acceptable. But if you listen to the glazing side of the Wuthering Graves community, and I am specifically talking about the glazers, not people who are just genuinely not having issues and having a good time. These glazers would like you to believe that those of us expressing just how bad the problems we are having are, are just doom posting. Just ignore the quote unquote doom posting, pocky wockies, wow, look, shiny 60 pulls, be a squirrel and get distracted by the shiny thing, much wow. I mean, even people calling out extremely legitimate problems with the game get treated by these glazers as vastly overstating the problems. Videos pointing out very legit and true things about the game get this like ratio and full of disgusting toxic comments just because they didn't bounce on cool games meat. This glazer right here put up Brop Street pointing out very legit and true problems with the horrible storytelling in the first hour of the game 
calling it an exaggeration, while also putting up posts of people mentioning the problems of the voice acting and the game crashing as exaggerations too. But these are not exaggerations, they are extremely real problems. So storytelling was bad. For God's sake, they randomly started info dumping in the first hour of the main quest to explain the in-law logic behind how the artifact system works. Who writes like that? If the writing and voice acting aren't problems, why is Kuro Games allegedly urgently hiring new voice actors and writers after the game is already released? These glazers that the game has for creators are not doing the game any favors whatsoever. And that's all I have to say for now. Please let me know your thoughts and comments below. Just know that if you act like a toxic loser in my comments, I am going to throw that same energy back at you tenfold, because I don't give a damn anymore. Thanks. Bye.